Uh, Trump's brain is broken, y'all. I saw it. I saw it. Well, I didn't see his whole brain, but I saw how it worked. Uh, the other night or the other day, you know, he did that uh, interview with the Association of Black Journalists. Uh, he he uh, He's broke, y'all. He's broke. I think that that bullet may have bounced off his brain bucket. I think it might have. See, because uh, he's stuck in the past, stuck way back in the past. He said that all of these illegals uh, coming over here to this country, coming and taking black jobs. That's what he said. Um, uh, black people hadn't wanted to, uh, you know, go out there and grow and harvest products in fields for rich white landowners in a more than 160 years at least. I mean, they said that the, the benefits package and the pay was horrible. They didn't want nothing to do with that no more. So they, they walked away from that. Now, so he's stuck in the past and, um, but also, it ain't just that. Uh, he don't know how anything works, Joel. He don't know how inflation works or interest or nothing like that. He don't know anything about nothing. What I, what I realized is what Trump, he knows how to talk about two things, uh, the border and oil. That, that's it. Uh, because whenever he was asked about how you going to fix inflation, which we really don't have any inflation, how you going to fix something that we don't have, he said that, uh, Lower energy prices. Lower energy prices going to fix the inflation. That's what that's what he said. Uh, I mean, uh, there's there's better ways. Um, see, um, so he's talking about deregulating for the oil companies is what it was, and everybody knows it. Uh, anyway, he don't know how nothing works. Somebody needs to fix his abacus too, because his abacus is broken. Either get him a new abacus, fix the one he's got, uh, because he can't math either. Oh, he he don't know about numbers and years and stuff like that none of it ever makes sense when it comes out of his mouth um but hey i could clue him in and tell him a few things maybe maybe they ought to hire me and i could tell him teach him some stuff before he goes out there and speaks in public and embarrasses us and him um see like that inflation you know what caused that uh, he did he did damn sure damn sure did at least half of it yeah he did uh, that three trillion dollar tax cut that he gave uh, to rich people um See, that was money that what never pulled back out of the system through taxation. So it just sat there. Uh, and that causes inflation when that happens. See, now I know that we like to say that, oh, I owe them checks and $1,400 stimulus checks that we, we, by the way, cashed and spent too, uh, that was sent out. Well, uh, uh, remember Trump sent the, the first round of those out, but the only difference was is he uh, held them up for a long time because he wanted to put his signature on the check so that he could trick people into thinking that, Mr. Trump himself gave you that money. But anyway, uh, so he was a, you know, a selfish son of a bitch prick, uh, with his money. And then Joe Biden sent out $1,400. Now everybody spent that money. It's gone, but that $3 trillion, uh, tax cut for the billionaires. Yeah. That led to about half the inflation we got. The other half is corporate greed. That's right. See, cause they was parking trains on the side of the tracks, not moving them, slowing down product shipments on, on stuff on purpose. Remember they had ships just sitting out in the ocean. Yeah. Shut slowing stuff down on purpose to create this artificial inflation we're experiencing because people are dumb enough to blame the government. Uh, so anyway, um, that's the, that's the inflation now. Uh, and then the interest is because, uh, uh, you know, you, uh, you have to raise interest rates to curb inflation. It's just, Wait, words. So, if somebody, if somebody was to explain that to him, if that was explained to him, then he might look a little smarter. But I don't know if his brain works. Like I said, I think might have bounced off his brain bucket. Now, uh, another thing uh, that he he don't he don't seem to understand, uh, or he don't want everybody to know, all that deregulation that he wants to do. You know what it is? Uh, stupid. Uh, see, because um, remember that thing that was called uh, the Dodd Frank or Frank Dodd. Uh, bill that was passed back after the housing crisis back in 2008, and that was to put regulations on these uh, greedy uh, lenders out there, uh, keep them from, you know, uh, vulture vulture capitalism among people. Um, anyway, uh, as soon as Trump and Republicans had the first opportunity to do so, they pulled some of that back, and that allowed big companies like Vanguard and BlackRock, these big investment firms, to come in and buy up millions and millions of single family homes here in America and just sit on them and not do anything with them and artificially drive the price of houses up to where it makes them unaffordable to people. And uh, that created a housing shortage for millions of people and it drove up the price of rent dramatically. Thanks Trump, Republicans. That's what deregulation does.
does for us, y'all. So if he was to learn this stuff, maybe he'd be a better president. Right now, he's too stupid to be a uh, dog catcher. He can't do anything. He had to do stupid as a box of rocks, y'all. Uh, we probably shouldn't vote for him. That'd be horrible. But we're going to because I think, you know what would, I think part of it is, the reason why we're Trump supporters is because uh, we've always had this fantasy of a civil war and stuff like that. And we need a, we need a president there that's going to be a wrecking ball and just break shit. Uh, that way we can have uh, chaos and craziness and run around and pow pow people with our pew pews. Right? Is that what it's all about? You idiots. Inmate Trump, 2024.